Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video, we're going to talk about how to be irresistible to him without saying a word. This is Matt Schaefer, your dating, relationship, and empowerment coach. And today we're going to talk about how you can be an irresistible force to a man and attract him and be magnetic to him without saying a word. All right, and so if this is your first time uh, being on our channel, take a second, hit that little subscribe button, hit the little bell. I'm doing new content all the time, and I'd love for you to be a part of that, all right? And uh, be sure to stay towards the end because I'm going to be giving some great tips at the end. I always like to save some of my best stuff for the end of my videos, so this won't be a long one, I promise. But let's talk about this, right? Because I work with a lot of different clients, a lot of different women around the world, and they always are very preoccupied when they go on dates with what they said, right? Like, oh, I I think I said the wrong thing and they get so preoccupied with what he said and what I said and they're always analyzing that and breaking it down and asking my feedback and here's the funny thing it's almost never about what you say that determines if a date's gonna go well or not okay this is actual science when you're talking to a man okay 60% of what he's hearing from you is your nonverbal communication and we're going to talk about two ways you can really master that to be powerful in your nonverbal communication in just a second. Okay, 35% of what he's hearing from you is the tone of your voice, the way you're delivering your language, the energy you have behind that. Only 5%, that's right, 5% <laughs> of what he's actually hearing from you when you talk to him are your words. So think about that. Let's take the pressure and the focus off of the words that we're saying and focus instead on how are we showing up. That's going to make the difference for you with the men that you're out with. And that's going to really make, the, make or break your connection with him and whether or not you're communicating with him effectively. All right. So let's talk about nonverbal non communication. That's 60%. Of whether of what's landing with him, right? So, what are some keys to nonverbal communication? The first is your body language. So, when, when we're talking about body language, there's a bunch of different aspects of that. I'm going to hit on a couple of them, right? So, first off, you're with your body language. You want to be open body, right? You want to be open body. So, open body is really important because that means your legs aren't crossed, your arms aren't crossed, your body isn't hunched over. You want to be back. You want to be open. You want to be demonstrating that you want to connect with him and that you're open to him, right? So that's a really powerful uh, tool and a very powerful technique is to always be open when you're communicating with him, right? And be facing him dead on. Don't be off to the side. And it's really going to help you show to him at a subconscious level that you're open to connecting with him. Sound good? Okay, good. Tip two around uh, nonverbal communication is your eye contact. Your eyes are so powerful. And when they're looking at attraction points from an evolutionary perspective, eyes are one of those things they focus in on. And so your ability to make eye contact with him is a huge connection point. So when we're talking about eye contact, there's sort of a general rule of thumb, right? Three to five seconds is good. Okay, three to five seconds is good. Imagine if I was doing this whole video and I was looking up at the ceiling, or I was looking over here, da 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 da, and I'm like, oh, my name's Matt Schaefer, I'm a da 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 da. You wouldn't have any connection with me. And haven't you been on dates where that's happened, where a man like won't look at you and he's like talking into the wall or off into the distance? Isn't that isn't that just sort of a disconcerting feeling? Because that doesn't establish connection. So the rule of thumb is three to five seconds of eye contact, good. Here's another rule of thumb. More than five seconds, a little creepy, okay? So think about that. You don't, especially in the initial stages of dating somebody, you don't necessarily want to hold his gaze for too long, right? Because eye contact can be very intimate, especially for men. And if a man is not necessarily really comfortable with you yet, or he's not necessarily a professional communicator, like I can hold eye contact all day. I enjoy it. But for a lot of men out there who haven't done a lot of work on themselves, it's very intimate to hold the gaze of a woman, especially a woman that they've just met. So you want to be sure to be making eye contact with him, holding it for a minute, allowing yourself to feel that connection, you know, for three to five seconds. And then you know, laughing and looking away for a second, giving him a little break. <laughs> and then as the date goes on, maybe you have a couple glasses of wine or whatever, and you guys are getting loosened up and you're getting that connections deepening. 
then at that point, okay, let's uh, let's let this go on. Let's and whole, see see if he'll sustain your days longer, and you guys can sort of play with that later on in the day. But in the beginning, you want to be you want to be confident. And also, another important thing about eye contact is it demonstrates confidence. Right? So your willingness to hold his gaze is a, is a communication to him that you're confident and you're not shying away from connection and you're sure enough about who you are that you're not going to look away. Looking away is a sign of insecurity or not being willing to meet his gaze. So men are attracted to confident women. Sound good? Okay, good. I'm glad that landed with you, right? Now, this last tip I want to offer you around the power of uh, nonverbal, nonverbal communication and how you can really use it to, to be attractive and irresistible to a man when you're on a date with him or you're even in a relationship with him is a phrase. It's a mantra that you can use. This is just for your energy and this is for uh, throughout a date from the beginning to the end, right? You want to be repeating this phrase to yourself over and over and over again in your head. Of course, don't say it out loud. <laughs> but you want to be asking yourself, am I demonstrating that I'm open to connection? Am I demonstrating in the way that I'm showing up that I'm open to connection? So check in with yourself throughout the day and, and just ask, and ask me, ask yourself, right? Am I demonstrating that I'm open to connection? Is my body language open, right? Am I practicing eye contact? Am I smiling? Am I, am I just showing him that I'm not afraid to, to connect with him? And if you can do that, if you can show up and you can just be open non-verbally and in the way that you're showing up energetically, you're going to be irresistible to him. And guess what? You don't have to say a word to do it. So I hope that this helps you out there in the dating world. If it did, take a second, hit the subscribe button, sign up and become, become part of the tribe. We're having a lot of fun here on my YouTube channel. And let me know what sort of stuff would you like to hear me speak into? I'm always looking for new topic ideas. I have a huge running list and I'd love to do a video on something you're curious about. How can I be your manslayer? What can I, what can I explore around the mind of a man or stuff you've been curious about? I'd love to dig into it. So leave some notes in the comments and let me know, and I will see you next time on my YouTube channel. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.